Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 8 of our ability system series. In the last episode we made a start on our AOE ability and in this episode we're going to finish it off by creating a new ability called Holy Ground. Now we're going to go in and add a few things and get started with the creation of Holy Ground. So previously we made it so we got it on our bar, you see the animation, and it does drop it, you just can't see it yet. So we need to make it so you can see something on the floor, as well as other features too. So let's first of all just get it so you can see it on the floor. So for this we're going to go into our ability for the Holy Ground. And the way this works is going to draw a decal on the floor. So you need to be in your viewport and you go to add component and search for decal. Now the decal by default is going to be facing outwards towards the X direction. We want it to drop down on the floor so we need to turn it a little bit on its side like so. So now it doesn't do that so the X is going pointing up. Now we need to tell it what decal it's going to use so I'm going to go and create a decal for that. So in here we're going to just right click create new material. I'm going to go holy ground uh, decal. And this one's quite a simple one so we're just going to drag in uh, change the first of all the material domain from surface to deferred decal. And we're going to put in a new texture sample. And you should find the ring circle underscore T texture in the resource folder. If you haven't got the resources yet, go into the description below and you can download all the resources available for this project. And this thing is going to be plugged into. Uh, well, let's, let's multiply it first of all. Multiply it, and we're going to put it into base color. Actually, just make it emissive, like so. And we're going to multiply it by color, and we're going to multiply it by yellow, like so. Okay. Put that done. Hit apply. Oh, hang on. I need to make it translucent. So, so back on the main one, change from blend mode to translucent. And that should be it. I don't know if it actually shows in the viewport the decal. But we can test it out quite easily. So, let's test out what this looks like. We're going to drag in a volume and look for the decal. Or just search for it. Decal. There you go. And in there, we're going to drag our holy ground. It's just appeared now. And you can see how the effect will work. Okay. Um, so we've got I've still got to get rid of the black bit, but you can see the gist of how holy ground will look on the floor. So let's get rid of the dark bit of the uh, image. So on opacity here, we're going to drag in our RGB into the opacity as well. And hit apply. If you let it come through and the shaders will compile. And you can see it's a lot better now. Okay. So there we go. We've, we've made our decal effect. Just need to add it to our actual ability. So go into your Holy Ground ability and add the new decal we just made here. Part of the ability. I'm going to hit compile and go to the event graph. Now the event graph, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to activate the effect through the event activate effect. But we also need to call the parent function to make sure that gets called. And we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to tell this decal to turn on. So drag your decal out and call it activate. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over our decal in the component list and just tell it to uh, not activate, sorry, um, it's visible. So let's make it not visible and then make it visible here. New visibility, there we go. With that, we're going to move on to setting the lifespan. So set lifespan 
and this controls how long the effect will last okay and if we want we can make a variable for this so it makes it easier for us to change it later so lifespan and make it a float and by default I'm going to set it to 5 and we'll plug that straight into my set lifespan okay after that we're going to set up a timer so I'm going to set timer by event and the event we're going to make down here as a custom event and we're going to call this custom event tick effect and the tick effect is going to be something that we see um, around the place and it's going to basically tell the uh, AOE to basically after a certain amount of time do what it's meant to do so be it like heal a player do damage it's the dot the damage over time that it's doing so I'm just going to connect that up to the timer and the time here is we're going to make another variable here and we're going to do a dot timer and we'll drag that in to our dot timer there let's uh I'm going to do a space. There we go. Okay, so we've got a dot timer going in. We're going to tick looping. So it continues to do it until it's destroyed by the lifespan. And the tick effect is going to do whatever we want it to do here. So this is holy ground, and the whole purpose of this one is going to heal the player character. So I'm going to get my ability root here. And I'm going to drag out a get overlapping actors of the class filter first person, uh, not first person, third person character and that would be basically the parent class for all your player characters so if you have multiple player characters you need to set the parent class there I've only got one character so that's what I use and with the overlap characters we're going to go for each because we're going to apply to them all that are overlapping us and the for each loop for this is going to um, take our array element here and apply damage like so and all we can do here in base damage is just change it from 0 to minus and we'll do a value and uh, let's do uh, let's do 50 I know whatever and that base minus makes it so it heals it rather than does damage to it okay and that's the general gist of the uh, effect okay I'm gonna hit apply compile and the only thing we've got left to do on this is to see what the ability root looks like in comparison to the decal. So we have to match these up um, before we're finished here. So let's drag one of these out onto the uh, level. Let's drag it out like so. And I'm just going to turn its visibility for its decal on whilst we're testing this out. And also I'm going to go to the ability root and again change its visibility so it's not hidden in the game and it is visible so you can see the little ball there um, I'm going to change the size of that um, by changing the sphere radius to match the decal so that looks like it's 256 let's do 255 the 256 is the size of the, the decal okay so in here we're going to change the default setting for the shape to 256 like so I can now close this and remove this ability from the oh, from the level well, if I can actually click on it uh, there. there you go okay so now let's see how this looks now we can should be able to see it I'm going to hit new one and there it is. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we've got that effect in the game. Um, all that's left really is to do a particle effect for its uh, little sparkle, sparkle. So let's do the sparkling particle effect. In here, I'm going to right click and create a new particle system. And I'm going to use the cascade system for this, and it's quite a simple one. And I'm going to call this holy ground underscore ps for particle system and in here I'm going to add a new uh, particle so I'm going to required change the particle here to uh, what's it called radial something or whatever radial gradient 
like so it's like a little little uh, little ball a fluffy ball coming out now we're for a full demonstration of how the cascade system works please check out my particle system uh, video where i'll go through the setup of how this actually will work so i'm not going to spend too much time going through the nitty, uh, nitty gritty of all these things so just follow along if you want to know how to make this uh, replicate this effect so once i've got the particle coming out i'm going to right click on here and change uh, or add sorry a module for location and we're going to do a cylinder select it and open up your start radius and in there we can see the constant is 50 by default we're going to change that to match our radius of our sphere which was 256 256 and our start height we want to make sure has a value so 50 that should be fine um, you can always tweak that later on and lastly we're going to turn on surface only and you can see now they spawn in sort of a cylindrical shape okay surface only makes them spawn on that surface of that cylinder okay um, if you want them to go a bit higher um, and spawn a little bit higher we can change the start height here to something higher there so let's change it to 100 you can see they actually start at higher heights. Perfect. So in there, I'm also going to change the color. So I'm going to do color over life. And rather than doing over life, I'm just going to change it to set color. So I'm going to add a new one. Color. Initial color. Actually, no, we don't do initial color because we want to remove it. So uh, color over life because we want to use the alpha channel. With color over life, we're going to change the... Uh, first point zero here from white to yellow and our last point we want to match that like so we still get the fade out but it's a lot easier to manage okay and we can mess about the spawn as well if you like uh, 20 seems quite low let's see what 50 looks like okay okay um, we'll mess about the initial size as well, I think. And we'll change that from a minimum to 15, 15, 15. We get a bit of variation in size and velocity. We, we can leave that as is. We're quite happy with that. And lifetime, I'm happy with that as well. So I'm going to hit save, close this. We go to my ability holy ground and choose the particle system for the holy ground particle system. So, excellent. Okay, so now let's see what it looks like in game. There you go. Uh, you notice the park system was starting already. That's because I forgot to turn it to be uh, 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 not auto activate. So turn that off. Now it shouldn't play at all until it's dropped on the floor. Perfect. And there we have our AOE for Holy Ground. If you enjoyed this video, please check out what else I've got on Discord. You'll see the next episodes for this one where we take a look at buffs and debuffs and how we approach those. Um, if you like that, uh, there's many more videos as well, many other series. So please check out my patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey and you can get all that for just one dollar. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons and my YouTube members for all their support. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without you guys, so big thank you to all of you so, so much. Um, don't forget, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you've learned something from this video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.